Hi guys, it's Tiffany again. I just wanted to make another vlog about how the Disney program is, even though I'm, I'm not in it. Like, I'm not in Orlando, I'm in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I wish I was though. But I just wanted to say, you know, I wanted to, you know, make a checklist of things, what to bring, what I'm bringing, and how I'm going to get there, help people with that, and also tips for the interview, and how to know if you made it right at the mailbox. Yeah, it's pretty depressing. I know. Well, I have a little secret to tell you. My first time I tried out my freshman year, I didn't make it. Now... Somebody told me it was because they were 90% full. I did try out October-ish, and they mostly wanted guys and not girls, especially not Caucasian girls, because they're not that big of a minority. They wanted minorities. Understandable, understandable. So I know the difference between accepted and denied. Anyways... Let's start off of what to bring to the Disney College program. Oh, isn't it pretty? Isn't that pretty? Oh, it goes so well with my complexion. Actually, I hate purple. But the side's green. The side's green, so that's good. That's very good. Anyways, what I'm going to bring is basically shorts, maybe a pair of pants just in case. Mostly shorts because it's Orlando. Orlando. Seriously, I've been to Orlando like five times. It's my favorite destination. That's why I wanted to go to Disney World. I know where to shop, where to go for entertainment, and how it's like down there. I'm going to bring, well, my friend told me not to bring flip-flops, but I love flip-flops. So flip-flops, hiker shoes, whatever, because you're going to want to walk the places sometimes. Um, basic necessities, whatever. But the one thing I know I'm going to bring is an ethernet cord. Um, ethernet hookups are like in the living room and I want my privacy and wireless sucks down there. They don't have wireless in the room. So I'm just going to get like a hundred foot ethernet cord and hook it all up and be in my room and be like, Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> so yeah. Um, that's one thing I'm going to bring that not many other people bring. Another thing would probably have to be, that's a good question. I think that was the only thing I wanted to tell you guys was the Ethernet cord. <sighs> not that much stuff, obviously. I'm going to have to bring pillows and blankets, but I'm going to have to leave some of my stuffed animals at home. I can't live without them. I can't. I've got my Chocobo, Ring Pop, my, my, um, my Pokemon Piplop, Bubbles. I've got Angel, and I've got Yoshi, whose name's Felipe. I have to bring them, but I can't. I can't. I'm going to only have to take two, and I don't know which two yet. I don't. Um, twin bed sheets, of course. They already tell you on there. They don't tell you about the Ethernet cord. They also don't tell you about how much it costs to get your laundry done. Or, like, I thought it was free for the longest time. I think you had to look really deep on the website to find it. And you had to be accepted in order to find out about it. <sighs> yeah, but that's some of the things to bring. You know, things to think about. Your room's also not going to be very decorated. So if you can take a lot of stuff, that's probably the best idea. But if you can't, like me, I don't know then leave decorations at home if you can. I heard that the apartments are really bare, kind of boring. Another thing, TV. TV is very essential. Um, I have this really little TV. It's like right there. Yeah. And it's going to fit very, very, you know, comfortably in my big, huge blue bin. And probably your video games. If you're a gamer like me, I know my boyfriend's going to be like, you're not that much of a gamer. I am a gamer. But I am a gamer. I can't live without my video games. Then bring that. But if you're not a video gamer, don't worry about it. Just bring a TV. You're going to need a TV. They have cable, by the way. They have cable. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I also recommend bringing with you, if you drink pop or water, whatever, bring like maybe two packs of it for the first two weeks or whatever, so you get used to it, and then once you find out what to buy, all that jazz. Now I'm going to tell you about Orlando. 
there's a great place called the Mercado. It's Spanish for the shopping market, whatever. And it's very cheap. Now, it has, like, more expensive brands for cheaper prices. I'm not saying it's like the dollar store. It's not. Um, I used to go there all the time with my mom, and we went down there, and it was awesome. Awesome. I love Orlando. The palm trees. It's awesome. Okay. Um, the basic weather, which they don't tell you about, um, there's hurricanes. Hurricanes. They don't say there might be some, you know, potential hurricane going by there, but there's hurricanes. I've never been there during one, but, um... All the time I've been there, it's only rained once during my five years, for one day. It was for like three hours. So don't expect rain. Now, if you get cold easily, I, I suggest bringing maybe a hoodie. A hoodie, that's about it. If you're like really skinny, but I don't get cold easily. I get hot easily, so I don't have to worry about that. No. So, last part. Tips on how to get accepted and how you don't know to get accepted. Um, basically, you go to the mailbox to find your letter. If you have a letter, you didn't get accepted. You got declined. But if you get something like this, you got accepted. Oh, yeah. And you get, it's in this. It's in this. Like, I can't show you my address, obviously, but yeah. Isn't that cool? It's so awesome. Um, so that's how you know. Tips for the phone interview. Smile. Now, I know you're like, they can't see me. Disney sees everything. They put cameras everywhere. <laughs> Just kidding. No, they don't. Unless they really do. But who knows? Anyways, smile. It helps you calm down. And it helps you have that happy voice. Like, yeah, I want to be in the Disney program. He said, you. <laughs> I know that was a little scary. Be very happy and peppy. That's rule number one. Rule number two is they're going to pause a lot because they have to type down stuff. And thank God my recruiter said something. The last person didn't. Calm down. Don't feel like you have to say more than you have to say. Just gather your thoughts and speak. They understand you're under pressure. It's okay. And the third rule... Whatever you do, you have to tell everybody that you're going to be busy because I almost had somebody walk into my room while I was doing it, and that would have been very rude, and they look at that as total rudeness. So tell everybody you will not be disturbed. Easy. So that's my little video for today. I don't know what I'm going to do next time. You might not see me till November, but I'm pretty addicted to this stuff. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so if any of you guys are going next semester and you want to, you know, hang out and be friends, that'd be cool too. Just contact me because I've done that with other people and I think they probably thought I was a creeper. So that wasn't good, but I did have some people say, oh, let's hang out, let's hang out. Yeah, this is my job, yeah. So, see you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>